it's quarter past six. Now, plans for mass closures of ticket offices across England are expected to be revealed later today. Some will remain in larger stations, but elsewhere staff will be on concourses instead selling tickets to offer travel advice and help people with accessibility. And Ben can tell us more. Morning. Yeah, morning. We've heard lots of speculation about this decision and we're expecting some more detail on it later today. It has been a source of conflict between rail operators and the trade unions. And this morning, the rail delivery group that represents train companies is expected to confirm plans to close nearly all ticket offices in England over the next three years. At the moment, about three in five stations has a ticket office and some will remain in the larger stations. But the kiosks are increasingly underused and that is what's driving these plans. The Rail Delivery Group says that in 1995, the vast majority of tickets were sold at station booths. But that number has plummeted to just 12% on average. And passengers are now mostly buying online, on a phone app or using machines. And so by freeing staff up from behind the glass, the idea is they can help passengers on the concourse and platforms, including selling tickets. The question is, though, what do passengers make of these proposed changes? I do normally use a self-service once to buy my ticket, um, but there's plenty of times I've had to go and get um get a, a replacement ticket or something like that or if I've ended up having my train cancelled need to get an interim ticket for somewhere else or a different route like that it's so much easier to speak to a member of staff but yeah don't yeah to be honest don't use it so yeah I could do it all online on a flexi ticket not sure if that's what you wanted to hear we do definitely need an in-person kind of in ticket office yeah it's important it's quite vital yeah Unfortunately, everything unfortunately becoming digital these days. Obviously, it's not just a ticket office issue; it's a it's a much wider issue. The entire way we shop, etc., like with self checkout. I think it's an unfortunate thing, but so for the sake of jobs, we'd like to see. I'd like to see it stay open. Well, the rail unions are strongly opposed to this. They say it diminishes the rail network and have previously warned of further strikes. Remember, there's more industrial action scheduled for later this month. Disability groups have also said they fear it would hinder accessibility. And Sally and John, we should say the Department of Transport have been in touch with us already this morning. They are stressing that this would be the start of a public consultation. People can make their comments and concerns known as part of that. And they stress also that no station will be left unstaffed. It's about putting staff on the platforms rather than behind the glass at the ticket booth. But we'll get more details after 9 o'clock this morning. OK. Yeah, so that official conference... Good morning, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Just after half past eight and plans for mass closures of ticket offices across England are expected to be revealed today. Some will remain in large stations but elsewhere staff will be on concourses to sell tickets, offer travel advice and help people with accessibility. Ben can tell us more so change, Ben, but not necessarily staff disappearing. No, just staff being used in different ways and we've had reports that this announcement was coming for some time it is still a real source of tension between the rail operators and the unions let me explain more later this morning the rail delivery group that's the organization that represents train companies is expected to confirm its proposals a consultation on its plans to close nearly all ticket offices in england over the next three years now at the moment about three in five stations have a ticket office and some of those will remain in the larger stations but kiosks are increasingly underused and that is what's driving this decision the rail delivery group says that in 1995 the vast majority of tickets were sold at station booths that number has plummeted to 12 percent on average passengers are instead mostly buying online or on a phone app or perhaps using machines and so by freeing staff up from behind the glass the idea is they can help passengers on the concourse on the platforms including selling tickets the question is though what do passengers make of these changes i do normally use a self-service once to buy my ticket um, but there's plenty of times i've had to go and get um get a, a replacement ticket or something like that or if i've ended up having my train cancelled need to get an interim ticket for somewhere else or a different route like that it's so much easier to speak to a member of staff but yeah don't yeah to be honest don't use it so yeah i could do it all online on a flexi ticket not sure if that's what you wanted to hear we do definitely need an in-person kind of in ticket office yeah it's important it's quite vital yeah 
Unfortunately, everything unfortunately becoming digital these days. Obviously, it's not just a ticket office issue. It's a it's a much wider issue. The entire way we shop, etc., like with self checkout. I think it's an unfortunate thing, but so for the sake of jobs, we'd like to see. I'd like to see it stay open. The rail unions are strongly opposed to this. They say it diminishes the rail network and have previously warned of further strikes. Remember, there is more industrial action scheduled for later this month. Disability groups have also said they fear it would hinder accessibility. And Sally and John, the Department of Transport, have been in touch this morning. They are keen to stress it will be the start of a public consultation. People can make their comments and concerns known uh, and we'll get more details when the official announcement is made uh, later.